What I'm doing here, I'm talking about our health crisis in America alone and a lot of the developed countries where obesity, diabetes, all metabolic diseases like heart disease, and strokes, everything really has its sources in food. I'm a firm believer in that. Food first and then the exercise and all that. And so I kind of developed this little chart it's like a food pyramid since we're already familiar with the government's stupid food pyramid that doesn't do absolutely jack shit for people, but tell them to eat nine to 11 servings of grains, which is completely utter bullshit. For example, this one right here is about vegetable seed oils and its dangers. This one here is about intermittent fasting and uh, fasting in general. And so I'll write down notes uh, this one is about the different chemicals and pesticides, organic versus conventional food. This one is information on inflammation and all the causes of autoimmune diseases and the such. This one's about the proper human diet. And so, you know, I know you vegans are going to be, you know, going nuts on that section. But you know what? You know what I say. I could give how many you know what. This is about pesticides and foods. This guy right here is about habits, incremental change, diet versus exercise, lifestyle choices. I talked about obesity rates. I talked about the kitchen versus the gym in this one. I also hit up some aspect of the low carb diet, sleep, and insulin. This one's about mental disorders, anxiety, depression, all of those things. See, people of color in this country alone have alarming rates of all the metabolic diseases, even mental health issues. And so I really just kind of looked at it, even if you're not a person of color, it's all about taking responsibility and not eating the conventional way because not to get off on a tangent and talk about all the food industries and the lobbyists and you know GMOs and all this other stuff, but something's broken when you have a country as wealthy as the United States and other developed Western countries where people are experiencing alarming rates of cancer and heart disease and stroke and diabetes type two, that's a disease we shouldn't even see. But you know, nobody wants to take responsibility and our government's not really protecting us, right? This one, I talked about fasting and the importance of fasting. So all this stuff is going to go into a book. My next book, which will be What's the Focus Food, What's the Focus Fitness will be my next series. And it really is about creating the optimal human being so that you can be better than someone else, so that you can be the best version of you. Cut out all the crud, the preservatives, the multiple ingredient packaged foods and the processed foods. It's really about taking ownership of your health. I'm not a health and nutrition and fitness person. You guys know me more as a business and entrepreneurship type of person. Unless you handle your health, what good is your wealth? So I'm all about the holistic approach to optimal standards, health, mind, body, business. But if your mind, body, and health are not in its right place, then what good is money or business? So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Be on the lookout. This one right here, I just talked about sleep and the importance of sleep, short cycles of sleep, how they cause more than 6,000 fatal crashes. Even our sleep is affected. Our stress levels are crazy. So look out for these books and then definitely continue to watch my content, like and subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing the heat and I'm bringing realism. Just bringing you real advice, real advice that you can use right away to take your health, your wealth, and your life back into where it should be in your hands. See you later.